It is 22 minutes away from 8 o'clock on a Friday morning. It is the festival time of year here yes. in North Texas. We're kind of, you know, seems like it's, it's May and September and mm -hmm. October. Uh, North Texas Festival begins. It's a favorite, and it happens this weekend. Yeah, it's a four-day, family-friendly grape fest festival. Where would they hold grape fest, huh. I wonder? There is one location in mm. particular that's pretty good for it. Fox for Shannon Murray live with one of the fun new things to do out there in Grapevine. Good morning, Shannon. Good morning. Right, there are a lot of activities and performances that will happen here this weekend. Right now, we're with Wacky Chad, as you can see. Um, he performs all over the country. You'll be here this weekend. Tell us a little bit of what you'll be doing here. I do a stunt comedy act. It involves a lot of uh, crazy stunts, a lot of comedy. Uh, I ride a really tall unicycle. I do handstands on skateboards. I jump rope on my butt. And <laughs> I do this thing. I'm known for this thing right here. It's a Vertigo a Pro Extreme air powered pogo stick. Well, so. and of course, we want to show you actually on the pogo stick, but first, we want people to see how heavy this is. I had a pogo stick when I was little, and I thought I was very good at it, but this thing is very heavy. I mean, I can't even, <coughs> if I try, I cannot jump on this thing. It's hard to do. So, very impressive. Take it away. Oh, show us, see, show us how, it, how it works. Gotta get warmed up. Okay. Woo. Look at me, I'm having fun. <laughs> and Chad will be performing here all weekend, three times a day. It's a, a family friendly event here. Lee Lyons also, whoa. Lee Lyons is also here with us. Um, this is one of many things happening here this weekend. Well, absolutely. We've got activities. We've got great wine tastings um, and activities for all ages all weekend long. Right. And I know the wine is really the focus of this. Tell us what people can ex expect as far as that goes. Well, we've got the People's Choice Wine Tasting Classic, which is the largest consumer judged wine competition in the nation. And that features Texas wines. We've also got the Liberty Park Plaza Wine Experience, which features guest wineries from New York and Canada. Both of those areas will be serving wine all weekend long, so it's a great way to come out, enjoy a great glass of wine, and uh, enjoy Grape Fest. Well, and we also like to encourage people to bring the whole family. It's not just an adult event, obviously. You've got yes. people here like Wacky Chad who will entertain the kids, too. We certainly do, and we've got the Kid Zone, which features Legoland Discovery Center, Sea Life Grapevine Aquarium, and activities all weekend for the kids. So, yes, bring everybody um, to enjoy Grape Fest. And it's free today, right? Free until 5 p.m. So whether you bring two people, 20 people, 200 people, <laughs> um, you can get in free at fi until 5 p.m. today. So what about the rest of the weekend? Give us the details, what people need to know if they want to come out and be part of Grape Fest. Well, we're open tonight until 1130. We're open Saturday, 10 a.m. to 1130, and Sunday, 11 a.m. to 6. For a complete schedule and lineup of all the activities all weekend, visit GrapeFest.com. All right, great. And we'll put a link on our website as well, fox4news.com. Lee, thank you so much for talking to us. And Chad, thank you so much. Nice work. I'm sure you are exhausted now. But uh, Jenny, Tim, just a fun weekend full of all different kinds of performances and things to do for all ages. What a way to make a living. <laughs> Will there be grape stomping exactly. done by you, Shannon? Yes, so in the next hour, uh -huh. I will be grape stomping. I've never done it before, but apparently there's a pretty epic reporter fail out there yes. that's happened. So my goal in the next hour is for that not to happen. We'll that see. Is, <laughs> that is my favorite uh, news blooper of all time. I just posted it on so Facebook bad. and Twitter. Mm. People want to see what we're trying to prevent.